man. Yeah. yeah, I'm really happy about it. Uh, I don't think I play perfect, but it's always room to uh, improve. Yeah. So I'm looking to keep uh, getting better and better. You know, it was a lot. Uh, it was a big confidence booster for me just playing early first. Because uh, you know, in the spring, uh, I wasn't really that high on the depth chart, but I just kept working my way up. So playing early, it just gave me a big uh, confidence booster. Uh, just looking to improve more and more throughout the weeks. How do you think you earned that opportunity? You know, going through last season and then this off season. Uh, really, I'm just uh, just working, working, working behind the scenes. Uh, you know, my leadership from uh, Chase Lucas, guys like Kyle Sully, you know, guys who get your uh, work ethic from, things like that. Uh, just keep working every day, you know. Some injuries happen, and uh, I just got opportunity to play, and I just try to make the best out of them. What are some areas of improvement that you're focusing on? Uh, With yourself? Well, myself, mainly, uh, I think it was just confidence. Yeah. I was overthinking when I first came here. and uh, The more I played, uh, the more I watch film, just the more confidence I grew. What kind of things do you think you bring to the team that's different than anyone else on the roster? Uh, you know, I rely on my technique, you know. I'm not a slow guy. I'm not the biggest. I'm not the strongest. Uh, I don't have the longest arms, but, you know, I just rely on my technique, really. How is it playing with all of these talented players in the secondary that have that experience, and also some of them being from your hometown? Uh, it's great, really. Uh, you know, I grew up with guys like Merlin. I've been knowing Merlin since I was in the, uh, sixth grade. So, you know, he took a real uh, big brother role with me uh, early on. Uh, guys like D Black, uh, I played against him in high school. You know, LV uh, and many others, JB. So uh, everybody in this group is talented, especially in the DB room. So, you know, we push each other every day. You know, Chase always says, uh, come in there and try to take each other's spots. So, uh, we do a good job of pushing each other, really. But uh, not only do we push each other, but we support each other, too. You got some reps in there in that first game. So yeah. how would you rate your performance? Uh, like I said, I didn't play perfect. Uh, it's always room to improve. You know, uh, only the ball only got thrown at me uh, one time. So uh, hopefully, I'm hoping to get uh, some more opportunities going on, uh, you know, yeah. I your thoughts on that first game, you know, with the fans there, was, was your family there as well? Oh, yeah. Uh, so it was like my, uh, it's been like almost two years since I played in the game. So, you know, especially coming in and with that, uh, with the COVID and no fans and things like that. Uh, yeah, it was just a great feeling just being out there. Uh, really indescribable. But, uh, yeah, I had, uh, it was real fun. It was a different experience. I enjoyed it. What did your family think about the entire thing? All the fans, everybody there, your performance as well. Uh, you know, they're behind me every step of the way. They look at the uh, situation the same as I do, you know. Uh, it's always room to improve, basically. Yep. You talked about not being perfect in the first game. Is there anything you've specifically been working on this week to try and improve? Uh, just all around, just footwork. Uh, just everything, really, just trying to uh, sharpen my overall game. You mentioned playing against Darian in high school. What did you notice about him then, and have you learned anything from him now? Uh, high school, he was a dog, like a dog, and I came here and it seemed like he was like playing with him. He's even more than a dog than I realized. So uh, he's he's crazy. Like uh, I really look up to him. Just the overall energy he brings. He he really sets the tone for us. How do you guys all stay you know close? I know Merlin, I know Jack, and and obviously Darian as well. How do you all the guys from LA stay close off the field? Uh, you know, just being from that area, period, it's a, it's a different vibe with us, the I feel. So, uh, you know, just that uh, SoCal connection, really, that all of us have. Uh, you know, we all close. A lot of us went to the same schools, like uh, uh, DP, Jack-Jack, uh, you know, JB, uh, and Black, and then uh, me, LV, guys like that. So, uh, it's just, it's just a really cool experience to... Uh, Grow up together, come up together, and just play on the same uh, team in college. Yeah, it's a blessing, really.